How do you find cheap houses in Italy? Like this one for $69,000 or this one for $27,000. Look at those views. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I find cheap houses in Italy. Hi, I'm Tommy Sykes from traveltirement.com where I share one cheap property and one tip on expat retirement or long-term travel each week. You can sign up at traveltirement.com. To find cheap houses in Italy, I start with gateaway.com. And that's gate-away.com. There's another site that I sometimes use, but I'll share that at the end of the video. Before I get into the details, make sure you also have Google Maps open and a map of the regions of Italy. To help you out, I put a link to the map I use in the description below. From the homepage of Gateway, the quickest way to find cheap homes is to click on the quick search button at the top left-hand corner. This second column lists all 20 regions in Italy. If we refer to our map of Italy, the cheapest houses in general are going to be along the east coast and at the southern part of Italy, including Sicily. For example, we can see Abruzzo is on the east coast, so there's a good chance there are cheap houses there. So if we go back to Gateway, click on Abruzzo. This takes you to a map of that region with all the houses listed. The blue circles with the number just is the number of houses in that village or area. You can see that there are over 1,700 houses listed here. So the first thing we wanna do is filter it by price. If you click on the price button, you can put a minimum in there, but what you're gonna do is filter out the super cheap places. That might be fine for some people, but for now, let's leave it. For the maximum price though, I'm gonna select 120,000 US dollars. When you first go to this site, it may default to euros. If you need to change that, just click this currency button and select US dollars. Now we'll hit the search button and you can see we've dropped the list from 1700 down to about 900 properties. This map works similar to like Airbnb. So you can scroll down and as you hover over a house, you can see where on the map that location is. On this search results page, you can also scroll through the first six pictures in the listing. The information on the right here will give you a quick idea of the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms, and the square footage, or in this case, square meters of the property. To convert square meters to square feet, just open up a Google window and type in 215 square meters to square feet. So you can see this house, 215 square meters is 2,300 square feet. On the search results page, if you click on the picture, instead of cycling through them, if you just click on the picture, it'll actually open up the full listing for that property in another window. You'll see tons more info, including uh, a written out description. Often these are written in Italian and then translated, so the grammar may not be perfect, but it'll give you an idea of stuff that's in the area, how the actual place is structured pretty much. And if you scroll down towards the bottom, you can actually get a link to the satellite view on Google Maps or the Google Street View. The full listing will typically have a lot more pictures too. So if you needed to cycle through and look at the various bedrooms, bathrooms, entryways, things like that, um, you'll see them here. If you wanna save a property that you really like, you can register for free on Gateway and then click on this heart here at the top right-hand corner. And if it's saved, it'll turn orange. So why do we have Google Maps up also? If you find a place that looks pretty interesting, you can use Google Maps to see how close it is to important locations and other services. For example, you can see this one is in San Valentino in Abruzzo Citeriore. And if I just copy that text and go over to Google Maps, we can zoom in on the actual town. It's a little too close, so I'm gonna zoom out a bit. There we go. So you can see, may be hard to see now, but the town is right here, kind of up in the mountainous area, it appears. And say we wanted to find out like how far it is to Pescara, which is on the coast. Pescara clearly is a much larger city, so it's gonna have more services, more restaurants, uh, maybe more doctors, more grocery stores, that kind of thing. 
what we can do is click on the directions button and then just click on Pescara. And you can see it is about a 34 minute drive from this town where this um, property is located to Pescara. Another thing I like to use Google Maps for is the nearby feature. So if you click on nearby, you can see it'll automatically list restaurants, hotels, bars, and pubs. But say we just want to find out what's the nearest or what are some near grocery stores. Let me zoom in. You can see there's a variety of different grocery stores in the area. Then you could actually click through and look and see what kind of grocery store it is. Is it a full grocery store or like a small market or a mini market? Or instead of grocery store, say we wanted to see, is there any skiing near this village in Italy? And you can see there are, looks like four different ski resorts within a you know, reasonable drive, fairly short drive. So from this village, you could reach the coast in 35 minutes. And it looks like you could go to some ski resorts in probably 30 to 45 minutes. The last thing I'll show you is the terrain and street view feature, which is really cool. So you can see we're zoomed in here on the town. Let's first zoom out just a couple of clicks. And then down here in the bottom left-hand corner, just hover, hover over this square and then click on the terrain button. And you can see it turns the normal map into a to topographical map. We can zoom out a little bit and see that this town is right amongst some pretty good mountains. And if I zoom back in, I can see that the town is actually kind of up on the top of a hill. So anytime I see that, I, I love a place with a view, love going to the mountains and, and staying somewhere with a view. So if we scroll in a little bit more and then go to the street view feature, which is this little yellow person down here on the bottom right hand corner, just click on that. And you can see it gave you all the streets where a street view is available. And let's just, I'm just going to pick um, this like looks like a main road here. Whoa. And you can see here's the street view. So I can like drag the picture around. You can see they got a pretty good snow here at some point. Um, this Google street view feature, it pulls pictures from all different seasons. So don't be surprised if it's summer and you see snow like this. It doesn't mean it's actually there right now. Cool thing with street view is, and it's hard to get a view between these houses here, but and you can like virtually kind of stroll down the street, see what's going on in the town. Huh, that's interesting. You see there's like a rock outcropping here with stairs up, but that looks like it'd be an awesome spot for views. But let's keep going down this way. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah, you can see here's the town up here on the left. And then there you go. You get a little bit of a view. It's cool because you can virtually walk around a town or a city and not only check the views like this, but again, you'll see what stores are there, what restaurants are available, what bars are there. It's a great way to get a feel for how much stuff there is in one location. The other site I use for finding cheap houses in Italy is technocasa.it. It's a little more complicated, so I will not cover it in this video, but I will make a tutorial about it. So make sure you are subscribed so you'll get that when it comes out. Did you know you can find cheap houses in France also? I made a tutorial for you of exactly how to do that. You can watch it by clicking right here.